What's it, Brian? Okay, all right, I'm sorry, acting crazy. Okay, but today I will be doing a large clothing haul. But half of these clothes are from Christmas because I I was supposed to do a video then, but when I tried to upload it, all like it was lost, and I I ain't feel like doing it for a long time. So these are from Christmas, and most all the other clothes are recent. But I'll tell you which ones are from Christmas. And which ones are recent. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, but first, before we start this video, I'm just going to tell you I like thrifting. Well, thrift shopping, as y'all say. Like, that's like one of my favorite shopping. Like, because you could get clothes that you'll pay $100, 300 I mean $130, $50 in the store. And you could get it just for like $5, $8, $10, $10, and sometimes $20. My yeah. first item would be this H&M shirt. Like, it, you could wear a long sleeve or you could cuff it. And, yeah, this was, um, I think, yeah, I got it from the thrift store, and it was $8. All right. My next item would be from Play-Doh's Closet. It's by Perry's Ellis, and it's just a regular linen blue shirt. It needs to be ironed, but this was also $8. My, my mom actually got me this for Christmas. I never wore it, as y'all can see the tag is still on there. But, oh, and it says the price. And this was $12, $13 really, $12.99. I actually bought this item myself. It's a denim jacket for Forever 21. And it was $32. Yeah, because I needed a new denim jacket. All right. The next item on my list I got from Play-Doh's Closet also, and it's by the brand The Modern Oxford. Disclaimer, I don't know any of these brands like this. I just like the shirt. It's a regular plaid shirt. Yeah, and I can wear this to church, so, yeah. Um, my next item is some Rue 21 um, shorts. I like the, the print on them and stuff. I don't know how much they were. So, yeah. My next item on the list is a dashiki. And I needed this because we um, were um, having a dashiki theme at our school for a day. So I just bought this and this was 20 something dollars. Um, my next item is some Rue 21 um, pants. And they're like skinny legs, but they're um, stretched. And these were, I don't know how much. This shirt from Ross. It's an Adidas shirt with Galaxy on it. Um, not sure how much it was, but yeah, I like it. Um, our next item, I got this from Forever 21. It's a jacket. As y'all can see now, I like this kind of print in my stuff right here. Like, yeah. And this was, uh, I would say $10 because they was on sale. Buy one, get one half off. Next item, I also got this from Thrifting. And I think I got this, mm, yeah. And this was $5, actually. They had a sale on that day. But, yeah. If y'all ever seen me. Oh, my mom actually bought me this, and it was $6.88, basically $7. My mom also bought me this, and this was, oh, it was $3. Like, yeah, I wear them to, like, the beach and stuff like that. I also got this polo shirt from, um, <laughs> my next item on the list is a 
Rule 21 shirt with little cuts in them. And this one actually still has a tag on them. And it's from Christmas. And it was $21.99. My next item on the list is a regular white shirt. Um, and I got this after Christmas, but it was still around the Christmas time. And it's a regular white with like little specks of black and gray in it. And this shirt, I don't know how much it was, but I'm pretty sure they still have it on the website. So you can go look for that. Um, next, I um, also got this item from Thrifting. And it's a regular polo. Ralph Lauren shirt and it's I don't if I I think I got this from Play Little Closet and all their polo shirts no matter what size be size be eight dollars and that's really a deal because half of these people care about what other people are saying and then they'll just go to like the regular polo show and get um some shirts uh, that same shirt for twenty something dollars when I could I could just go to a, a thrift shop and get it for eight dollars and that really don't make no sense um these are some regular take it off the hanger these are some regular ripped jeans yeah like this um and i know for a fact these were ten dollars because i got a similar pair with made by the same brand and they were ten dollars next i got this shirt from ross it's an Adidas shirt with Galaxy on it. Um, not sure how much it was, but yeah, I like it. Um, our next item, I got this from Forever 21. It's a jacket. Y'all, as y'all can see now, I like this kind of print in my stuff right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> and this was, uh, I would say $10 because they was on sale. Buy one, get one half off. next item i also got this from thrifting and i think i got this mm, yeah and this was five dollars actually they had a sale on that day but yeah you got everything yeah. oh my mom actually bought me this and it was six dollars and 88 cents basically seven dollars my mom also bought me this, and this was, oh, it was $3. Like, yeah, I went to, like, the beach and stuff like that. I also got this polo shirt from, um, <laughs> I don't know why I look like that, but I also got this polo shirt from, um, Play Those Closet, and this was $8. Um, this is a Tommy Hill figure shirt with little pineapples on it, as y'all can see right there. And this was $8 also. All of their designer, designer clothes is really $8. And that's a deal. I bet that shit was like $32 online. But my mom also got me this one. I will also wear this to the beach when we go. And this was $3. That's why the tag is still on there. Have really used um, so, this shirt, me and my sister, T. Arch, got this shirt together in Destin, Florida at the Civil Sands Outlets. And I had, in a store behind this shirt. So, I'm just to let y'all know, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. So, I don't really want to pay the full price for nothing. And I think this shirt was $24. I went online, and I went to Retail Me Not. Y'all should really go, um get y'all some coupons from there but if y'all want to sponsor me retail me not i'll be happy and so the shirt was 24 dollars, and i didn't want to pay the full price so i went on retail me not and i got that on i don't know how much percent off it was and i paid like i think the shirt was like 25 dollars, and i paid like 18 dollars, but it went back up to like 20 dollars. but i mean i saved five dollars Okay, so I um these pants I got from Play-Doh's Closet, and I don't know how much they were, but yeah, I don't know how much the things were. 
I also got these biker jeans. Oh, yeah, the other, these jeans right here. These are biker jeans. Well, that's what I call them, biker jeans. And that's what everybody else calls them, biker jeans. But, yeah, um, these is also some biker jeans. And I don't know how much they was. But I know them same jeans right there, them gray jeans. Them things be at H&M for $40. Who finna pay $40 for some jeans? Well, you could just get you the same color and the same bike jeans for cheap. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all, we really just paying because y'all name H&M. But anyways, I got these pants from, well, shorts from Route 21. And these were $16. Never worn. But I get to win. Oh, yeah. And these, the other, y'all remember the other jeans I showed you like this? These are the similar pair. And I remember I was going to my cousin's dinner party. And I made some jeans quick. And I saw these that I liked them. And these were $10 on the dot. Shocked. Because some ripped jeans in the mall. I like $50, $50, $40. Oh, yeah. And when I was in the mall, I did get two shirts. So I got a red one like that one, too. Why is it showing up like pinkish let me see well it's i can see red but it's not that light okay so can somebody please tell me why i've been sitting here thinking i've been recording <sighs> but back to the video this shirt is i got I forgot what I got, but I know it was two dollars. Okay, so this is the ending of my clothing haul, and I hope y'all liked the video. Um, I'm starting my YouTube channel back up, so more and more videos will be coming. But, but without further ado, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time.